week long, we've been sharing <laughs> tips to kick off the new year, right? And when it comes to new year resolutions, something on most people's list, especially this year, is managing their money. All right, let's get some help here. Robach and I are not going to give you financial advice. We're going to bring in somebody who can help, though, to get those finances in check and be smarter about your spending. And who is that person that's financial expert and New York Times bestselling author, Nicole Lappin? Nicole, hello. It is good to have you here. Everybody's looking for step one. Right? What's the first thing we need to do? The step one is admitting you have a problem. <laughs> and we all have problems, TJ, especially money problems. The next thing to do is come up with a plan. You know, come February, a lot of folks are like, hey, Nicole, I'm so off budget. And the first thing I say is, did you even have a budget? So come up with a basic spending plan. And I like to break that down into the three E's. I love alliteration. It just makes it easier. So essentials, end game, and extras, where 70% of your overall take-home pay goes to the essentials. So your food, your housing, your transportation. 15% goes to the end game. So your savings, your retirement, your future self, the future Amy, the future TJ. Um, your future self will, of course, thank you. And no more than 15% to the extras, so the random stuff. You know, usually I say a latte. If you can't buy a latte these days, some random thing on Amazon, if that is a treat to you, whatever does it for you. But make sure you add that in because a financial diet is a lot like a regular diet. If you don't allow yourself to small indulgences, you'll end up binging later on. Hmm. Makes a lot of sense. All right, Nicole, obviously this pandemic has caught us, uh, cost us a lot. And many people who even maybe had that savings account, those savings accounts have now been drained. How do we keep that important money there for for these types of emergency situations if we've already run through it all given what we've been through for this past year. Totally, Amy, and uh, you're not alone out there because a lot of people have feel that way, but setting everything up automatically so that you're safeguarding yourself against yourself makes it easier. So if you don't see it coming out of your paycheck, you're less likely to spend it, of course. So put a little amount. If you feel like you can't put a lot, just 50 bucks a month, and then ramp it up as you realize just how painless it is. Ideally, you'll have six to nine months of savings in the bank. So that's all the essentials that we talked about, the basic expenses that you'll need to live on, not the extra stuff, but putting it on autopilot makes it foolproof. I like that. All right, Nicole Lappin, thank you so much for these tips that a lot of us can use these days. Thank you again and have a wonderful weekend. Great to see you guys. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.